Welcome to Lo Bono's YouTube channel. This video will cover 100 civics questions and answers. These flashcards are in random order. To save time, short answers are provided instead of every possible answer choice. All answers are updated for 2020. Before we get started, you should be aware that in July of 2019, the Trump administration announced that it is planning changes to the U.S. citizenship test. Acting USCIS Director Ken Cuccioleni stated that USCIS plans to launch the changes in December 2020 or early 2021. This is obviously very important, so please subscribe below to stay up to date. Lobono will definitely post video updates if any major changes occur to the citizenship test in 2020. The current exam, which has been in place since 2008, asks applicants 10 randomly generated questions from the list of 100 you are about to study in this video. The questions focus on three subjects, American government, American history, and integrated civics. Applicants for U.S. citizenship must get at least six out of the 10 questions correct to pass the civics test. Let's get started. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Four hundred thirty five. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The flag. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Donald Trump. Name one state that borders Canada. Washington. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Taxation without representation. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To declare war. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What is freedom of religion?
you can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star-Spangled Banner. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? 4th, July 4, 1776. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents and residents of U.S. territories should answer that D.C. or the territory where the applicant lives has no U.S. Senators. State-specific videos are available on this channel. Click subscribe to watch videos with state-specific answers to state-specific questions. What is one reason colonists came to America? Practice their religion. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Twenty-seven. What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because some states have more people. Name one branch or part of the government.
Congress. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Who was the first president? George Washington. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote. Run for office. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the Slaves, Emancipation Proclamation. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist Economy. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. What is the rule of law? No one is above the law. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Who vetoes bills? The president. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Give a driver's license. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. What is the capital of your state?
Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that D.C. is not a state and does not have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories should name the capital of the territory. State-specific videos are available on this channel. Click subscribe to watch videos with answers to state-specific questions. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. Residents of territories with non-voting delegates or resident commissioners may provide the name of that delegate or commissioner. Also acceptable is any statement that the territory has no voting representatives in Congress. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of assembly, freedom of religion. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Declared our independence from Great Britain. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Mike Pence. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen?
Obey the laws of the United States. Name one state that borders Mexico. New Mexico. When must all men register for the Selective Service? At age 18. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What is the political party of the president now? Republican. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. There were 13 original states. Name three. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that DC does not have a governor. State specific videos are available on this channel. Click subscribe to watch videos with answers to state specific questions. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. 
Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Homeland Security, Attorney General. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day. Christmas. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Freedom of the press. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence?
life and liberty. In what month do we vote for president? November. Great job! You have just completed this video. Thank you for watching and studying with Lo Bono. If you like the video, please subscribe. Future videos for 2020 will include randomly shuffled civics flashcards and also state-specific videos. Please comment below regarding which state video should be added first. Also, as you may be aware, the civics test is only one component to the overall citizenship test, which also tests an applicant's ability to understand, read, and write the English language. If you would like to prepare for the English portion of the test, please check out Lobono's U.S. Naturalization Preparation Online course, link provided below. Thank you.